Hi, I'm Dr. Irfana Koita, Fertility Consultant. I'm now going to talk to you about fibroids. You may have heard about fibroids. Uh, fibroids are basically swelling within the womb wall. And it's quite a common problem. Uh, one of the very common reasons for why women have difficulty in trying to get pregnant. If one has fibroids, one may have abnormal or increased bleeding during the menstrual cycle. One may have bleeding in between periods. One may experience cramping and this can also lead to subfertility. So in women who are trying to get pregnant, it's quite important that one understands the role of fibroids. I'm going to show you the different sites in which fibroids can be located. Now, this is a cross section of the uterus. So as you can see, this is the muscle of the uterus. Fibroids can be in three locations. One, they can be into the uterine cavity, or they may simply just be in the wall of the uterine cavity. And sometimes they may project in outside the uterine cavity. Now, the ones which are outside the uterine cavity usually don't bother us too much when it comes to trying to get pregnant, unless, of course, they're very enlarged. The ones that have a very big role to play are the ones which are within the womb cavity. These are known as submucous fibroids. Now, submucous fibroids are a nuisance because they are sites where an embryo may potentially implant. And hence, usually when we see a submucous fibroids, we would advise you to have them removed. The removal involves putting in a telescope through the neck of the womb and then taking away bits of tissue which are projecting into the womb cavity with an intention of trying to get as much of the fibroid out as we possibly can. So if you're someone who has any of these symptoms and you're trying to get pregnant, then make sure you come and see us and we can advise you as to how we can have your fibroids removed. Good luck and take care.